So this is Diana, and um, you probably by now are a follower of either my Yahweh Facebook page or um, have seen our website. So what's in season? What we're going to be doing is uh, picking out vegetables or fruits that are ready to harvest that are in season and making something with them. And hopefully it'll be something that you can make fast, uh, either something you can store or something that um, your kids can help you with. Well, right now, bananas are in season. We have some really good amount of rain and the bananas are starting to flower. And so we're gonna make a couple of different things with bananas. Uh, today we're gonna do uh, bananas that are called burro bananas or uh, cuadrado, which is square. And the reason they're, they're square is because of the shape of the banana. Um, bananas are really good in fiber and potassium, vitamin B6, vitamin C, magnesium, copper, and um, manganese. So they're really, really good for you. They're, they can, these uh, burro bananas can be prepared green or they can be prepared with different dishes while they're sweet and they're dual purpose because you can also eat them like a regular banana. Today we have some ripe burro bananas, and so we're not gonna do the green. Um, I'm gonna wait till I have some green bananas and we'll do some dishes with the green bananas. Um, I am going to dice up some onions and use some store-bought spinach because spinach is not in season. I'm gonna add some mushrooms and I'm gonna make a little stuffing for a stuffed banana uh, patty. Also gonna, you can use banana for dessert. And this one is gonna be a fried banana with um, some guava syrup and a banana with uh, sweet and salt, which is my favorite. So right now I'm gonna dice up uh, my onion so that I can saute it. And I wanna do it in little small pieces because this is gonna go inside of my uh, stuffing. And this is a half of, a, of an onion. In this, uh, I'm using olive oil, but olive oil you have to kind of be careful because if it gets hot, it gets a different flavor. It gets too hot. So you just put it on really low and then you work with it. But I honestly, if I had lard, I would prefer lard because um, um, it gives it a different flavor. But if you're doing anything for someone that is vegan, you would have to either use coconut oil or um, vegetable or corn oil. So you don't really need a lot of bananas to do this. These, these are, um, I'll use two of them for the stuffing. I'll use one for the dessert and one for um, the sweet and salty. And that's good enough to eat with some pork, maybe some fried pork or stewed chicken. As a side. You can also cut these and uh, saute them and give them to your kids as a snack. It's kind of really a healthy snack, except for what you fry it, so you give it to them uh, ripe. They can eat it ripe. Uh, it's a very good banana to have. That's a plant that grows here in the valley, and um, you could just put it in the back, grow your bananas, and you don't have to go to the grocery store. 
You get about 75 pounds of bananas from one stock. Uh, we do sell it. So if you wanted to buy a plant, you can stop by Yahweh All Natural Farm and Garden in Harlingen and you know let us know that you're looking for a banana plant. We have bananas a cuadrado, Thai, um, manzano, and um, the burro. Right now I'm gonna rinse off the spinach and cut up the mushrooms, which I'm gonna use for my stuffing. I'll saute the mushrooms and the onions, and then I'll add the spinach. I wanna cut it up small so that it fits inside of my uh, stuffed banana cake. Yeah, whole mushroom top and bottom. These are button mushrooms that you, they're store-bought. Um, mushrooms are kind of, they need a, a special environment to grow, and we don't grow mushrooms, so we, we buy mushrooms. We do grow spinach, but it grows, it needs um, cool temperature, so we would, to germinate, so we would start planting it late November, and we would have it, uh, beginning of January. It does like, it's very picky. It likes um, um, the pH can't be off for the spinach and it also the weather has to be cool for the spinach. So I'm straining, I'm gonna rinse out the spinach but I'm gonna let it strain a little bit cause it already, um, when you cook it, has a lot of water so we just want to make sure you don't have all that water when you make your uh, banana cakes. You can do all kinds of things with bananas. You can make smoothies. You can do um, frozen, frozen ice for the kids. You can do um, stuffed, we call it a pastelon, which is stuffed with meat. You can do, it's almost like a lasagna. You put layers of banana and layers of meat, and then you put cheese and sauce. You can make all kinds of really great meal ideas with bananas. And like I said, if you're looking to save money, you can just grow the plant in your backyard and, and use some of the vegetables from your garden and the bananas and they make a really good meal and save some money. It doesn't take a really long time to, to make these different ideas. So if you're in, you're short on time, you can uh, fry these bananas and serve it as a meal because it's kind of heavy. This is something that we're going to be doing often. So we're you're growing with us as we grow and we learn how to do the different positions of the camera um, and of the kitchen so that you can get some food ideas, things for your family that's a little bit different than hamburgers and spaghetti. If we don't get a frost in the Rio Grande Valley, you can have them year round. Um, they do take a lot of water. So if you have the plant, you can put it in an area where maybe um, your washing machine water is, is uh, disposed of. I, I don't know if a lot of people just throw their washing machine water in the, in the septic, I mean the, the sewer lines or not, but if you reuse your sink water or you reuse your your um, dish your um, laundry water, you can put some plants there and and you wouldn't have to water all the time. If not, then you would have to water because they they do need water to grow their fruit. It's really interesting with the 
uh, bananas, they um, give you their seed. They give you the banana and then they won't grow another bunch of bananas, just one. And then after that, they grow you some pups. They call them pups. And those pups are the ones you knock down the big one that you harvest the bananas. And then you have the pups and you, um, those are gonna be your next bunch of bananas. It's a, it's a plant that's gonna produce within a year, year and a half. So you don't have to wait years and years like the, the other fruit trees. So it's good to have uh, the bananas in your, on your property because it's food. Sure, I cut them for dessert. So I cut it in um, one inch uh, slices and then I cut it in one banana in three slices so that it would fry and I could put the salt um, pepper on it and I could use that one as a side dish. And then I cut the other one in half because that one I'm gonna mush up so it didn't really need to be cut in small pieces. So uh, I just wanted to, it to have the caramelized banana flavor and that's what I was looking for in the half, the half banana cuts. The oil needs to be uh, hot, not super hot, like burning, but hot. Yeah, if the if the oil is hot, it it minimizes it from us up sucking up so much uh, oil in the banana. If it's too if it's just warm, it's gonna soak up a lot of that um, oil, and then you're gonna have greasy. It's already something that has a little bit of grease on it. But this, it it's a little bit greasier. Oh, it's just, a, it doesn't have to be um, a lot of oil. If you do a small pan, you could probably cover it a little more than what I was using. I was using an a, a eight inch skillet, so it's kind of a lot of space. And, but if you do a smaller pan, then you can probably uh, cover the banana a little bit more without using a lot of oil, because it doesn't need um, to be deep fried. So these, these bananas I'm gonna mush up. These bananas I'll mush up and then this was the ones we're gonna use for um, stuffing. caramelizes the banana and it's delicious. I really like it with a salt and pepper with the seasonings. Um, the, my seasonings have a little bit of onions and garlic and pepper and salt. And so it brings out the sweet and salty flavor. So it's really good. So I'm gonna mush it up and the caramelization is just gonna give it flavor and a little bit of color. And it needs to be, it should be done when it's a little bit hot because you want them to be mushy. And as it cools off, it does get a little bit firm. 
So I'll mush this up and then I'll let it cool off. And then I'll make my cake and stuff it. And put it here on the side, yeah, so that it'll cool off. So these are the thin sliced um, bananas that I'm gonna put salt and pepper on. And then the uh, quarter inch bananas, I'm going to put um, guava syrup on. You could put some, um, all kinds of things. You could put ice cream. So this is my guava syrup that I made. Now you can serve this with ice cream. You can serve this with um, some uh, sprinkle brown sugar. You could do a sprinkle of powdered sugar and serve this as a dessert. You can even serve it as breakfast on pancakes. Wanna taste it? Now when you do this, you do want to do it when the banana's a little bit firm, not really super, super ripe, otherwise it has a different flavor. Now uh, these are just small strips and I cut them really thin so that they get really caramelized and have that um, caramelized flavor. And so I'm going to make, put some uh, seasonings that I made. And sprinkle it with um, my own adobo. And this one you could serve with uh, fried pork or maybe some stewed chicken or even a salad. This would be good on a stove. Oh, salad if you didn't eat meat, um, some sauteed other vegetables, um, and, or this on uh, salad as the salty instead of bread, instead of breadcrumbs. Uh, what is it? Croutons. Give it a different flavor. So my bananas should be cooled off. Let's see. Now we're gonna take some and make a like a, a patty. Still a little warm. You can make balls, you can make patties, you can make uh, any kind of shape. What you're gonna do is you're gonna make it, uh, flatten it and then make it kind of centered so that you can fill it with this, the stuffing. And the stuffing is spinach, mushroom, and onions. You don't want it to have a lot of juice. You want to make sure you drain it a little bit. In fact, if you wanted to, you could have put it in a colander so that it wouldn't have so much moisture. And then you 
you take the rest of the bananas and you put it on top and kind of um, make it into a ball so that it's all covered. You can flatten it so that it fries a little more because you're gonna double fry it. And when you fry it, it's just to give it another really even caramelization on the patty or on the cake so that when you serve it, it's got good presentation. Then the chef gets a little extra. I really like bananas. I, I, I think I can write a whole cookbook on different types of dishes that you can make with bananas. Um, you can actually dice them up. We'll have that on another video. Dice them up and fry them and put onions and serve it as a, in, in place of a salsa. Instead of eating salsa with chips, you can eat fried bananas and chips with some hot, hot peppers. It's very delicious. I've made it before. Now here's your patty. You could you could put a little hot sauce over it and make a good presentation, but right now we're just going to cut it in half. It's still a little warm. We could um, let it cool off so, so it wouldn't um, be so mushy, but for purposes of not making this video really long, it's stuffed with spinach. It's um, spinach, mushrooms, and onions, and it is really good. Yummy, yummy. And then now you can taste this one. Mm. I would put a little bit of salt and pepper and probably a little chipotle sauce. combination of the spinach and you could do kale you could do Swiss chard you know you can just about to do any greens and look at all the bananas that you have to make all kinds I only use four to make these different things this one the patty the banana cake took two and the dessert was one and the um, salted, sweet and salty bananas was one. And this is really good with something. You could put it on the side of something with some, some other vegetables and have it as a meal. It's pretty heavy. This is it for the bananas for today. We'll come back and show you some other recipes soon. Keep on watching us on Twitch and follow us uh, to get notified when we do it again.